One of the biggest problems I see people having is that they feel that they don't have the right equipment to start making these videos. As I've stated in my previous videos, the most difficult part about creating content is actually not the equipment, not the sound, not the lighting, but instead hitting record or hitting upload. But to have an idea of why I say this, I'm going to record with my professional camera and with my Samsung S21 Plus. So let's get into it. As a disclaimer for this video, I am going to use the pro settings on my Samsung S21 Plus with basically the same settings that I have on my professional camera. First, to let you know a little bit about the equipment that I actually use, this camera is a Sony a7 III. It is a professional camera, but it's not one of the newest cameras available at the moment. The lens that I'm using in this camera is a 28 to 75 millimeters 2.8. What that means to the non-camera experts is that I can zoom in and out and I'm still gonna have the blurry background at any zoom range. This is actually very nice because the background gets very blurry and the focus is always gonna be on my face. The viewer doesn't get distracted with any objects that are behind me so it's a lot easier to maintain the focus on what I'm actually saying. In my phone it's going to be a little bit different because I'm not going to have that blurry background so you can actually be looking at some of the stuff that I have in my background and it, it might get a little bit distracting. I am not using any blurry background effect or anything similar but I know that some phones actually do have that setting and it's going to simulate like a professional camera. Obviously this is not the case for my phone but maybe on the new iPhones or new Samsungs it does have that setting. Also the frontal and back camera are going to be different because of the megapixels that they have. In this case, I'm actually using the back camera, which has more megapixels and therefore more quality to the image that you're looking at. Be aware that the sound that you're listening to right now on both cameras are actually from my desktop microphone. So take a look at the previous video about better videos, better sound to get to know a little bit more about the equipment that I use in terms of recording my voice. Other than that, this video is going to be very short because it's just a comparison between the two cameras. The real point in these videos are not to show you what gear that I use and what's the best gear that you could use for your videos, but instead to motivate you on getting started. Focus on sharing things that you enjoy and the things that you actually think that other people might be wondering about. Some things that could come easy to you actually might be very hard for other people. There's always going to be somebody that wants to learn or needs to learn about the things that you already know and the experiences that you have, especially if they are very easy for you. There is always somebody out there wanting to benefit from the experiences and the knowledge that you have. Go out there and start recording with whatever you have and eventually the equipment and everything that you have is going to get better and you're going to find ways to make better content. So that's it for this video and hope to see you on the next one. Bye.